Hey everyone, um, we're going to do another painting video today, um, swim jigs this time, and a uh, real easy color pattern. We're going to start with um, some chartreuse. This is going to be a pattern called summer, uh, summer sunfish. Uh, real easy to do. Start by heating our jig up just like normal. And... And that's the end of the chartreuse, just for now. Empty the gun out. And now we're gonna go with an accent color. This is uh, Blaze Orange. Uh, it's in a small container, because when I get low on the paint, I just transfer it in these little containers until I get a new one. And we're gonna put a little bit of a, a red throat on here or an orange throat rather. Give it a little heat. And there we got some orange in there. And the reason I put that orange on here, because we're going to do chartreuse on the, the sides of this and our, everything. The reason I do that is if I paint the whole body first and then I put this orange on, I'm liable to get overspray and it'll paint the, the paint job. You'll get that orange on the side of the, uh, on the sides of the head. And being that it's so small, uh, it kind of mess it up a little bit from what I intended it to be. So now we're gonna put some chartreuse on the rest of this. And I just give it, uh, after every time I, um, spray I put it over to heat a little bit and the reason I do that is because you're spraying air so you're cooling it down at the same time so you got to add some heat now we got our chartreuse body our orange throat and the next color we're gonna add is dragonfly and you can use candy blue candy green it's going to get the same effect with the chartreuse but i use this dragonfly because it has some uh glitter in it and it gives it a, a little bit of flash so i'm going to go with that add some heat and because of the hole for the weed guard i'm going to spray this at an angle um you don't have to have like a Teflon pin or, in, or anything in there because when you're just put such a light coat of paint on that it's not going to affect that hole for the weed guard to go in. It'll be plenty big enough. So we'll go. Give it a little more heat. And we'll go off to the sides just a little bit. Just by tilting it. There. Just give a little bit of a green hue to the sides. And that is it. That is it for that color. We'll empty out the gun and we're going to do another one. And I'll show you what these look like after they're completed with the weed guards and everything. Um, this next one is one that somebody wanted to see, and it's a real easy color to do, uh, Sexy Shad. And we're going to start off with white. We're going to heat our head. White's the hardest when you're spraying this stuff because it, it needs the most heat for some reason. And this is one I'm going to do the whole body first. So 
now we got our white on there. And I'm going to show you something here that seems to work for me pretty well. And that is, wipe off the tube here. If you want a real rich pearl, paint a base of white first. And you want to go over the flame or a heat gun real quick because you don't want to scorch the white. And then go over it with the white pearl. And uh, I know it's going to be hard to see on a video here, but that is a real deep pearl now. Um, you can use the pearl by itself, but going over top of white really, really does a... A fantastic job of making that a real deep rich color now we're gonna take blue I told you sexy shads real easy it for that and the last step for sexy shad another one of these quick coat lure markers shake it up just like the rattle can and you'll see that on this particular marker I have the chisel point and all we do is turn it sideways chartreuse stripe to it and that is it that is sexy shad and when you cure this and then put an epoxy top coat on it it looks absolutely fantastic I'll give you This is the finished summer sunfish. That's with eyes and epoxy and a weed guard in. And you can see you get that greenish effect by going over to the chartreuse with that dragonfly color. And there is sexy shad. after it's been cured and epoxied, weed guard put in it. Um, real easy to do with that gun. A lot easier than trying to um, uh, use a tap-on method, at least for me it is. Um, give it a try, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.